to my channel, Fifty Fine Health. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I know you're going to like it here. Okay? So what I got for you today is um, I have catfish, of course, my favorite. Uh, and I got plantains. Okay? Okay. And I'm going to be using fish crab. Okay? Last time I used this did I use this? Oh yeah, I did use this in my um, air fryer. But I think the last time I cooked Ronald some, I fried him some fish. He didn't want it in the air fryer. He wanted some grease. So, but I'm going to use my air fryer for my catfish. And how are you guys' uh, weekend going so far? Mine is going pretty good. I'm getting ready to go see my mom. I'm gonna do her feet. I'm gonna do her feet. I'm gonna um, do her get her give her a manicure and a, and a pedicure. So I'm gonna go kick it with my kids for a minute. Oh, and my thing is right in front of my face. Of course, I have my mustard on here on my uh, on my uh, catfish, and time to shake. Right the road. Another piece of fish for later. So I'm going to put this on air fry for, I'm going to cook mine at 375 at Fifteen minutes. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to prepare my plantain. The last time I did this, the last time I fried the plantain, I waited until it got black, and it was really good. It was really sweet, but I'm gonna try it this way. Um, it's spotty. It should be ready. Okay. Oh, shoot. So, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to fry the, this uh, plantain in vegetable oil. Let me put the camera over here so you guys can see. looks like a, a banana but you can handle it and you know a banana will break on you but not a banana 
plant and it's very very delicious if you let it ripen um, you know it'll it'll it's very delicious so I'm just gonna cut them going to use the rest of this little vegetable oil. I got my hot skillet on. Turn this around. I got this hot skillet on 250. I want these to be brown. Brown. My, it looks like my stove is, is crooked. So if I let this pan sit right. Put those or fry those up until they're nice and brown. There we go. Now everything is frying up evenly. I'm gonna put those until they nice and brown and I'll be right back so y'all know I forgot to spray my fish Everything is lopsided because no, there's no grease in the pan over on the other side. So, hardening is crooked. <laughs> so, my fish is done, and I want y'all to see these plants. I want them kind of crunchy on the outside and mushy on the inside. So, I'll see you in a minute. See, last time I did it. Well, last time I cooked the uh, plantain, I made it in my in my air fryer. So, and it was good. You know, I put um, cinnamon and a little honey on it. So, and it was sweet already. But you know, I'm, I'm greedy. Uh oh, is this the wrong one? Yeah. This one. Okay. So. My fish turned out good. So, I was worried about that because I forgot to spray it with some oil. Look at this. So, 
Be right back. Okay, I'm getting ready to go ahead and take these out. I said I was going to put the video back on when I was ready to plate it, but they look so good. I wanted you guys to see. And this is how you want them. This is how you, you want them to be dark fried. When they was all right in the in the uh, air fryer, but like I always say, nothing like a deep fried or something fried in some grease. And I haven't had anything fried in grease in a long time, so I'm treating myself today. I haven't had any <laughs> meat, so I'm treating myself today. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm trying to situate this dog on thing so y'all can see. Let's taste. Okay, hey me. That was a little piece of the plantain. That's good. Delicious. I put a little hot sauce on my on my fish. Mm. Mm. I know I'm smacking y'all, but y'all know I ain't had meat or nothing in a week. And when I did have meat, it was like um, in a salad and a uh, fish sandwich from Wendy's. Mm -mm. And this is a pretty good combination. So try it. It's good. Plantains are crispy. On the outside, kind of chewy, not crispy, but like chewy. Mm. It's sweet. And you would think it tastes like a banana, but it don't. It's got its own little taste to it. It's, you could tell it's in the banana family. I guess it is. I, I, I'm thinking it is. But it's just got its own little starchy taste. But sweet. So this is a good a good combination. It'd probably be good, really good with, with chicken. So. This is good. Two thumbs up for this meal. Try it. Enjoy your weekend, guys. And to all the mothers, grandmothers, sisters, happy Mother's Day. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to get my grub on. See you later. See you next video. Love you guys. Mm. I need a thumbnail, don't I? I can never get my thumbnail right. I had to take another bite. Let me see. practice my thumbnail on that. Hopefully I get it right. See you later guys.